All right, everybody. Got a new cement mixer here. We're gonna start waxing dirt. I hope it works right. Um, I had to put this together. It wasn't the funnest thing to do, but all I want to say is uh, it comes with this gasket that goes between these two tubs. I, I didn't put that in there. I think that's only for if you're mixing cement and uh, you don't want the liquid to come out of there. So I don't really need it for just waxing dirt. That's all I'm gonna use this for. Um, so just get that out of the way real quick because I got I got the burner for my uh, for my deep fryer wired under here so that's gonna put the heat on it and uh, I have I got my wax here I got 60 pounds of wax I got 18 buckets of dry dirt I got this digital thermometer that I can read the temperature as it's turning you don't want to get much more than like 130 degrees you don't want to burn that wax or then you'll never catch anything with that because they'll smell it so i'll just show you around here give you a better look at it and this is all right i just got that burner wired up underneath of there so it'll heat up that drum and then uh I had to put it on the back because when you're going to pump this, if I would have had it on the front, it was going to hit there. So a little trial and error, I figured that out. Well, like I said, here's, here's all the buckets of dirt. Here's a bunch of wax. So we'll get her turned on and I'll turn, you, turn the camera back on. We'll see how it goes. I, I'm hoping it works good because I got a lot of dirt to do and running out of time. Stay tuned. All right, we're gonna try her for the first time. Turn her on. Gonna be a little noisy, I guess, so bear with me. breaking up them big clumps. I want to get this really mixed in there real good before I turn the heat on it. There, I think that's pretty good. I just love this sticker on here. It says, uh, I don't know if you can read that, not DOT approved for highway towing. Do not tow on highway. 
<laughs> it's got a, like the about the cheapest freaking tires on it you'd ever see. I wonder who, who was the first dumbass that tried to tow this down the highway that they had to put that sticker on there. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that works sweet. I could actually, I took it up to about 140, looked like it was about the magic number for the temperature. Um, I could actually see the color of the dirt change. It starts to get darker when that when that wax was melting into it. So, man, that sure made my life easier. That looks nice. So now I'm gonna put it out here on this tarp. Let it let it cool down. I'll show you that. All right, I'll let that cool down. I'll just keep raking it till it's cooled down, then I'll put it back in the bucket. You don't want to put it right in the bucket right after you. It's when it's still hot like that, you'll end up with a big pile. It'll it'll just it'll be a big ball, and uh, it's not good. So I'll let this cool down. I'll get another batch going. I'm using. I just want to mention 3.3 pounds of wax per five gallon buckets of dirt. Um, three, it's that's just the way I do it. Um, I think they say one and a half pounds per gallon, or I, I'm not even sure. It, it says in the book in F and T, but um, I just use 3.3 because I buy it in bulk like that, so I can get three three buckets of wax dirt from 10 pounds of wax. That's where I come up with 3.3. It's close enough math, and it works really good. So. Um, yeah, we're gonna get going. I mean, I got a lot of dirt to do. This is gonna make my job so much easier because I'm not getting any younger and this ain't getting any any easier. And uh, with the amount of wax dirt that I go through, this is gonna really, really help. Once this cools down, I'll, I'll test it with some water and I'll show you what I'm talking about. A lot of people keep still asking me, why do I wax dirt? And I try to explain it the best I can and some of them still don't get it, but um, I just wanna, I'll, I'll test it out here in a minute when it's cooled down, so stay tuned. All right, everybody, I had to change my setup here. I had that wired back there, but it was putting too much heat up here on this bearing, and I didn't want to, it, it was starting to cook that bearing. I didn't want to take that bearing out, so I just, I had it wired there, so I, because I didn't want it on the front because it's going to be in the way when I dump it, but, so I got this small drum here, and, uh, put this plate on here and I just set it there that way when it's done heating I can just pull that out of there and then I can I'll be able to dump the the dirt out so I didn't want to have to sit there and try to wire it up there every single time so uh, new setup uh, at least I uh, caught it before the bearing went out and just want to pass that along to you also I want to say that this is a one and a quarter cubic foot capacity cement mixer 
I got it from Harbor Freight. It was about 200 bucks, but you know what? I, I tossed around the idea. I was like, it was over the course of three or four or five years, it's gonna, the $200 basically is nothing compared to how much extra work I used to have to do by rolling that other drum around. So, all right, I'll get this fire back up and I'll show you the test here in a second. All right, so I want to show you what I mean by when I'm waxing dirt, all these people that ask me why I wax the dirt. So this is for my sets. This is what I'm going to put over my trap, bed my traps in it. And because when you have rain, this is what happens to dry dirt, you know, makes mud. So you have, if that's what you got over your trap, then that night it's going to freeze and it's going to be solid and it's not going to work. You're not going to catch anything. So you wax the dirt and you pour the water on if it rains or snows it just beads up it runs right off so that's why i wax the dirt I, I hope that explains it enough for you it's just it's just so your traps won't freeze in and be inoperable you know so that's why i do it thanks for watching um, I hope this helps you. One last look at my setup here. It took a little modification. Like I said, I had to move this to the front. So I just set it there underneath. No big deal. But uh, yeah, you don't want to put it on the back. You'll, you'll cook that bearing, which I almost did. But I got two buckets done now. And I got a lot more to go. So thanks for watching. Thank you for all your support. And until uh, the next video, good luck with everything.